It's been eight months since Westcliff Drive, a popular scenic road in Santa Cruz, had to be shut down after winter storms wreaked havoc on the coastline. And soon a portion of it will fully reopen to cars, dashing the hopes of some residents who wanted to reimagine the roadway. Maybe prioritizing pedestrians over, over car traffic. Westcliff Drive from Columbia to Almar Avenue had to be closed, at least partially to traffic. The city now announcing Columbia to Woodrow Avenue, highlighted in red, will reopen to two-way traffic as soon as early next year. It's currently open to one-way traffic. And that is going to make Woodrow basically the terminus uh, for all traffic coming to this end on uh, on Westcliff. Megan Dawson lives on Woodrow Avenue, a main thoroughfare that connects to Westcliff Drive. Dawson says it's always busy here, but now because of the closures, people are forced to exit onto her street versus continuing down Westcliff. She put these speed warning signs up in the median of the road. I mean, if you travel through these neighborhoods, you'll see almost every house has a little plastic child warning sign or a sign that says, slow down, we live here. And it's just going to get busier on Woodrow once that portion of Westcliff reopens to two-way traffic. Dawson says it's a necessary step, but hopes for more traffic calming measures. Is it accurate to say that traffic there is going to get worse before it gets better? I think that is a fair way to put it. Yeah, right now people can travel one way on Westcliff towards Natural Bridges, but during the construction we'll have to fully close that section of roadway.